What's up everyone, Sag here, and today I'm actually going to bring you a randomized challenge from Haps' Discord. If you don't know who Haps is, uh, a Super Auto Pets content creator, it does challenges every week in his Discord, so you should go and check it out. And that's what uh, this video is going to be about. Uh, but before we actually get into this, I would like to talk about one thing, and that's uh, my content. So... I try to keep a, a wide variety of content. As as you know, I do uh, post commentary videos where I go a bit more in depth of um, of how I made my plays. I do short, no commentary videos with some music added on, just to get like some some little extra videos that I don't feel like uh, necessarily went with uh, exactly what I wanted to do, but. I think they're decent enough to share. I do live commentary, um, and that's not always on Twitch. Sometimes it's just me talking to myself. And then sometimes I do live commentary from Twitch. So I like to keep a wide variety of things for, you know, kind of everyone. And, um, and if you don't like a certain type of uh, content that I do, then you are more than welcome to not watch it. Like if, if you start up the video and you know that it's gonna be live from Twitch, that's totally fine. You, you don't have to watch it, and you can leave a comment being like, oh, that's uh, not for me, um, but, you know, do what you want to do, and then I'm totally fine with that. That's uh, basically what it's about, and um, and same with if you don't like the post commentary and you just like the live commentary, same thing, you know, you can say like, oh, not for me, but um, I appreciate, you know, you even putting out content, because it's hard to put out content every day, I would say, um, especially to edit, so... Sometimes the editing process takes a, a long time, and, and for the day, I'd rather not do a whole uh, editing session with post-commentary, and I'll just take a, a clip from Twitch or some live thing that I did earlier in, earlier in, the, in the day or the week or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, that, that's all it's really about, and that's all I really wanted to say, just, just to say that, like, you know, I try to keep up a wide variety of content for... Um, multiple groups of people, you know, and I even try to play different games sometimes too, but I always come back to SAP because I love it so much. So, and, and that's about it really. So, uh, I didn't have too much to say on it. Just like, if, if you are going to leave a comment about it, um, try to keep it a, a bit more constructive, you know. Um, there's no need to be rude at all. I'm not saying that anyone has been, but... Um, just a, a little bit of my thoughts, I'll say. So enough of that. Let's let's get into this. So this is a challenge that Haps had um, on his Discord, and I was like, you know, this is a quirky one, so I, I wanted to try it out. And this actually has to do with me looking for one final unit and actually not being able to find it. So I'm trying my damnedest to throw in in the last turn and I just cannot do it that feel when you are so strong you just cannot throw so the build that we were actually going for was from grounded sap again another um, sap content creator he's got sap in the name um, so link to everything down in the description so you can find these guys and he's got a randomizer basically that he made a website for and, and this was clearly much done much before they actually added random packs to to the game. So this is actually like a randomized build. You you enter um, what you want the final build to look like, and this was it. So it was a front camel, uh, second badger, or no, sorry, it was front camel, second dog, middle badger then bison and then another camel to end off with so this this build looked really really funny and i didn't see anyone in the discord actually complete it yet so i was like you know i'll take a crack at it and this was actually my first attempt of it and i was like okay we're getting off we're starting off pretty strong and i see a dragon on turn nine and we also got pretty lucky getting a, an early level two dog and an early level two badger and i was like well we could just go dragon scaling i think that'll be uh, more than enough and we've already got three of the pets. We only need to find one more bison and one more camel. And then we, we'll probably just have uh, the first camel, dog, and badger carry us. Because badger can go absolutely crazy. Especially if you get it to level 2 or level 3. So. It's not as strong as it used to be. But it can still carry you. There's no doubt it can definitely still carry you. We see three tier 1s here too. Absolutely nutty. 
So I'm actually going to go for the level 3 Badger. I don't care too much about the Dragon scaling because we have Dog as well. So we would still be by selling. Doesn't matter too much to me. We're on turn 10 as well. Extremely strong, I would say. And look at that. All five tier 1s. And how can I not freeze this board how can i not do it okay well i actually get rid of one cricket because i was like maybe one roll i can find another camel or bison and i think at this point i'm pretty uh i'm pretty sure that i'll i'll freeze one up and uh save it until we get to the last round because that's basically what you do in challenges like this and i actually lose here to a garlic shark but that's probably pretty important because if i didn't lose then i don't think i would get anywhere near close to actually finishing out the build and of course i'm going to buy sell everything here we're getting massive stats plus two health or plus two attack from the dog and then three three to everything else very very strong i would say i would normally only take dragon if i get it on turn nine or ten by the time it's turn 11 don't really want it i'd rather have like a cat or something but in this case, it worked out extremely well. And the next turn, we will be able to get our level 3 Badger, which actually goes crazy. Level 3 Badger is still extremely strong. You just have to invest so much into it. So, we get it there. And then, we got a lot of Tier 1s. Honestly, we found so many Tier 1s. And our Badger and Dog are massive for turn 12 on the Standard Pack. By the way, this is Standard Pack. All of Haps' challenge has to do with the Standard Pack. So... They're all going to be done there. And as you can see, we still have not found another camel or bison. And I sure am looking. Like, I'm, I'm looking hard for them, but not really able to find them. And uh, unfortunately, we don't actually get that uh, kill there from the fly. But we still are able to, to eke out a win. And here we are still by selling because I feel like I'm not strong enough. But I think at this point, I actually was strong enough. I don't need to buy any more tier ones. And I should just be looking for my last two units. I end up buying at least one more because we do have the maxed out health on the dog. And I, I don't want to waste any more buffs. So in this last turn here, we're just going to roll. Roll as much as we can to find it. And here we do find the bison, so I'm feeling pretty good. I was like, okay, we've got a decent number of rolls to find a camel. And I thought we could do it here. Just keep rolling for him. And I've been looking for it for a few turns now and just do not find it after all of that. But I say, you know, I have a level 3 badger. I'm pretty sure I can throw this round. You should always be able to throw if you have a level 3 badger. I just take it in the front, have it... um. Uh, kill my dog and we should be set put the camel in the back so it doesn't buff anything and i was like this should should this should be an easy throw right here um but unfortunately even on turn uh 14 whatever it was we just can't do it just can't do it and even if i would have sold that dragon it's a no-go damn dude it feels crazy not to be able to throw that so we win but there is another game a couple games after this i actually had this run where instead I have a level 3 dog and a level 2 badger. And this time I had froze the bison much, much earlier, probably two or three turns uh, earlier here. So we were actually able to uh, find the last camel on this turn. And then I already had the bison frozen so I can get it in here immediately and then put my positioning exactly how I need to. Uh, badger will kill the bison and hopefully take out his last units while my meloned camel will remain. So, really fun challenge. I really enjoyed it. And you should try these challenges out for yourself. Join uh, Haps' Discord. So, thank you so much for watching, though. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy. And you know what? Have a wonderful day.